Hi and welcome to MaxDiv Tutorials. In this video you will learn how to find a common denominator between two or more fractions. It is very important that you learn how to do this because this is necessary step when you want to compare fractions or when you want to add them. The basic idea of finding the common denominator is to take two or more fractions and to transform them in the way that all of them get the same denominator. The key point you need to remember is that fraction won't change its value if numerator and denominator are multiplied or divided by same number. So let's say you have one half. If you multiply both 1 and 2 by let's say 3, you will get 3 sixths. And this is same fraction as one half. The same also apply if you multiply 2 thirds by 5, you will get 10 over 15. Now I will show you how to use this characteristic of the fractions to find common denominator and to compare fractions. In this example we will compare 1 third and 2 ninths. First thing you have to do is to get these two fractions to have same denominator by finding least common multiple for 3 and 9. For 3 and 9 least common multiple is 9, so 1 third must be multiplied by 3. And by doing so you will get 3 ninths. Now when fractions have same denominator, to compare them you are looking which fraction has greater numerator. And as you can see 3 ninths is greater than 2 ninths, so 1 third is greater than 2 ninths. In this example we will compare 3 fifths and 1 quarter. 20 is least common multiple for 4 and 5. So 3 fifths we must multiply by 4. So we get 3 times 4 over 5 times 4. Which is 12 over 20. Next we multiply 1 quarter by 5. So we get 1 times 5 over 4 times 5 which is 5 over 20. Now we can see that 12 over 20 is greater than 5 over 20, which means that 3 fifths is greater than 1 quarter. In this example we will compare 5 sevenths and 7 ninths. 63 is least common multiple for 7 and 9, so we must multiply 5 sevenths by 9 and we get 5 times 9 over 7 times 9, which is 45 over 63. Next we multiply 7 nines by 7 and we get 49 over 63. As you can see, 49 over 63 is greater than 45 over 63, which means that 7 ninths is greater than 5 sevenths. Now let's compare three fractions, 1 half, 2 thirds and 3 quarters. 12 is least common multiple for 2, 3 and 4. So 1 half we multiply by 6 and we get 1 times 6 over 2 times 6 which is 6 over 12. Next 2 thirds we multiply by 4 and we get 2 times 4 over 3 times 4 which is 8 over 12. Now 3 quarters we multiply by 3 and we get 3 times 3 over 4 times 3, which is 9 over 12. Now we can see that 6 over 12 is lesser than 8 over 12, which is lesser than 9 over 12. Which means that 1 half is lesser than 2 thirds, which is lesser than 3 quarters. In this example we will compare 11 over 12, 5 over 6 and 7 over 8. 24 is least common multiple for 6, 8 and 12. First we must multiply 5 over 6 by 4 and we get 5 times 4 over 6 times 4, which is 20 over 24. 
Next, we must multiply 7 over 8 by 3 and we get 7 times 3 over 8 times 3, which is 21 over 24. Next, we multiply 11 over 12 by 2 and we get 11 times 2 over 12 times 2, which is 22 over 24. Now, by comparing newly obtained expressions, we can see that 20 over 24 is lesser than 21 over 24, which is lesser than 22 over 24. Which means that 5 over 6 is lesser than 7 over 8, which is lesser than 11 over 12. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to be notified about new videos, please subscribe to my channel. In case you want some specific subject to be explained, leave your comments and share this video.